Viewers and subscribers, please subscribe to Saga News TV and give a like and share. Several charges, including murder, have been laid against 47 years old Nigel Bailey, otherwise called Madras, who was captured in St. Catherine last week. The other charge is possession of prohibited weapon and using a firearm to commit a felony. Bailey, who is of Baker Step St. James, was charged in relation to the October 24 murder a 41 years old chef, Owen Morris of Tank Road, Cambridge St. James. He is also implicated in the December 10th death of 42 years old Kemar Henry, otherwise called Brocky, and Diamond of Bakerstead and Trover in the parish. In the first instance police report, at about 12.30 p.m., Morris was standing at a business establishment in his community when a white Toyota filled a motor vehicle approach, Bailey and another, another man. Arms with guns alighted and opened gunfire at Maris hitting him all over his body. The man escaped in the waiting motor car and Maris was assisted to hospital where he was pronounced dead. In the second incident on December, Henry was among a group of people in his community when they were approached by a man traveling in a Toyota Axio motor car. Bailey and his accomplice reportedly exited the vehicle and opened gunfire hitting him in the head. The police were alerted on their arrival. Henry was transported to hospital where death was confirmed. Bailey was apprehended by the police during an operation in Kisseton St. Catherine on January 4 and subsequently charged. His court date are being arranged. The alertness of the Spanish town police led to the seizure of a 40 pistol fitted with a magazine containing 5 40 rounds of ammunition in March Pen Spanish town St. Catherine. On Tuesday, January 23, reports are that about 12.30 p.m., a man was seen driving a four-wheel ATV motorcycle with no registration plate fixed and he was signaled to stop. Upon seeing the police, the motorcyclist reportedly tried to evade them, resulted in a crash. The motorcyclist was accosted and searched and a bag he was carrying was also searched, resulted in the firearm and ammunition being reportedly found in his position. He was subsequently taken into custody with charge to be laid against him. In a release, the police said, in an effort to raid the streets of gangsters, gangs, guns and gunmen, law enforcement personnel from the Spanish town police station have embarked on a zero tolerance approach to combat crime and other illegal activities in the all capitals. The Spanish town police are asking anyone with information that can assist them in their investigation to contact the CIB office at 876-984-2874, Crime Stop at 311, the JCF tip line at 811, or the nearest police station. The Portland police seized a Berita pistol and arrested two men in the Rio Grande Valley area of the parish on Tuesday. The seizure and arrest were, were made during a police raid in the Fermin district of Riversview. The police said two magazines along with 10 rounds of ammunition were also recovered. It is the first firearm seized in Portland since the start of the year. Last year, the Portland police recovered nine firearms along with 82 rounds of assaulted ammunition. 47 years old Julian Roach, who is charged with bridges of the dangerous drug act, is scheduled to appear in the St. Catherine Parish Court on February 19. Roach is answering to charge of position of ganja, dealing with ganja, conveyance and conspiracy. When the matter were mentioned on Tuesday, attorney Peter Champelli told the judge that an application will be made for the release of a motor car relating to the case. He said the vehicle owner would be available on February 19. It is alleged that in early October 2023, Roach was the driver of the vehicle along Highway 2000 in St. Catherine when he was stopped by detectives from the narcotics division. During a search of the vehicle, ganja weighing 23 pounds was allegedly recovered.